everyone and welcome to Hermitcraft. Are you ready to do some building? So far on this server, we have created quite the mess of a mega base. I mean, the foundations and the colored wool are excessive, I will admit. And we have a village over here that is going very well, if I do say so myself. I mean, this is pretty cute. This definitely works. I like it. Now, it is very important today that we work on building up these foundations. We definitely have a dwarven man living under us, so we cannot break any of these grass blocks. Let me show you why. Everything is fine. Is it? Okay, one block. I was wrong. There was one block I had to... It's okay. It looks okay up there with that block, doesn't it? It looks fine. It's it good. looks great, Impulse. Little terraforming is, is all is, It's okay. Is needed. This is why I have very thick foundations. Oh, there you go. Okay. Great. You're fine. You're fine. You, you can... accounted for this. And the fact that I like setting off TNT directly beneath your... Yeah, I've base. given you some yeah. space. I hope. Okay. Well, uh, everywhere else is gonna be fine. <laughs> have fun down there. Okay. Hey, speaking of impulse, my sign has changed. <laughs> impulse digs a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what, impulse? You do dig a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Impulse. You're the bestest. So this surprise gift from Impulse today is actually extremely important because we need to continue on these foundations. Very importantly, getting ourselves up off of this grass so that we give Impulse lots of room down below us. And today, I'd like us to focus on the entrance. As I've explained in the past, our spawn is just this way. As you can see, that's Tango's area that he's cleaned out right there. My base is facing spawn, so our entrance is going to be right here. And then we have a couple little side entrances in the towers. Now, if you're looking at this, you may be tempted to think, well, your entrance should probably go like right here, right? Like this, this seems like a good spot for the entrance. We'll just kind of build up a little doorway. That'll make a whole lot of sense. And then we'll figure out some sort of staircase on the inside, right? That, that works, that does work. However, that's not what we're doing today. Nope, today we need stairs. Preferably a set of stairs that starts right here at the end of this walkway and goes all the way up. So let's go ahead first and figure out where our actual entrance is gonna be. <laughs> way up off the ground. Only issue is figuring out exactly how high. And I feel like this is probably good. So all I gotta do is follow the pattern that I put down there and make a new flooring up here. So this is going to be the ground floor of my mega base with an entrance like through here, basically. I think that'll work quite well. Now it's just a matter of building the staircase slowly all the way up to there. Keep misplacing blocks. Ta-da, it's giant staircase. And honestly, a pretty good one at that. I like this staircase. We have lots of room below us for activities and lots of room above us for activities. Exactly how it should be. I feel like the next obvious order of business now using all of that stone that Impulse gave us is to actually build up these foundations to match this ground level so that we can get better going on the next layer. So how about we kick off and do a little time lapse to start off the episode. It's building time everyone. Let's do it. So much foundation. Nailed it. We have walls. Sort of. This foundation is looking more and more impressive by the day, although it is extraordinarily ugly as it has no details. But uh, I'm still very proud of it. I, th I think it's great, to be honest. It's quite tall, it's quite beautiful, and it keeps us from falling into Impulse's giant hole. What is with the copper? <laughs> Who is aging copper? Pearl? Pearl, are you aging copper in my base? Yeah, that's okay, I'll allow it. For the next phase of my mission today, I would like to complete the entrance. Like, like the whole entrance. However, small oversight on my part, I don't have the blocks for that. 
You see, one of the main things that I'm going to need after the foundation is up is sandstone for the walls and quartz for the roof. However, it has to be in smooth form. Inside my house in here, I have this very cute little system where I can smelt each of these blocks. Only problem is, I have no fuel. I am fresh out of coal. No coal to be seen. There is no coal. There's no coal. There's no coal anywhere. Luckily for me, however, there should be an industrial solution to this problem. So, uh, how about we head over to our guardian farm? So our lovely industrial district out here already has a couple of things. It has the guardian farm, obviously, and also a small little villager trading and converting hall and also breeder. So we've basically got two sides left where we can have really big industrial things. And one of those things is gonna be a super smelter. I'm doing the super smelter out here because this is where I get the quartz. So I think it makes the most sense to be able to feed the quartz directly from the villagers to the super smelter. And then comes the issue of fuel. And well, we are surrounded by a fuel source. Kelp can actually be used, but I kind of want to experiment with bamboo. Bamboo is a fairly inefficient fuel source, but it does require no crafting to do, which means it's completely passive. So I can be AFKing up there and this can be smelting and creating bamboo without me being here. So I, I think that's what I'm gonna choose. I mean, I don't know much about redstone, but like, I feel like I got a good grasp on that and that should be a good choice. So let's do it. It took me an embarrassing long amount of time to count this, but after I got it all figured out and laid out, I started working on the farms. I'm following a tutorial here from Avamance and Mysticat for the super smelter. Now these tutorials are very resource heavy, which I'm not worried about because when I need resources, I could just go bug Pearl. Pearl! Why did that scare me? What? Jim, Pearl! your voice isn't even scary. That, I jumped. Don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> that voice chat is oh, louder I... than usual. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I have everything 100% right now. That was terrifying. Oh, gosh. gosh. Sorry. My bad. Nice door. Oh. Ooh. That's Blue my trade. shiny bricks. Oh, oh, I'd see like, oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, redstone. I have redstone in here. Is it, is it okay Whoa. if it's not steel? Uh, if it's not fortune, sorry. Yeah, fortunate, thank you. And now that I've got my resources from Pearl, it's time to finish up these farms. Putting on two layers to the bamboo farm, I figured that would probably be good to fuel it, but we can always stack it higher if it's needed. And then it's time to get to work on the super smelter. We're going to set that up just directly in front of this, probably putting the output chest maybe over here. I feel like we do output chest over here, right? And then it'll be nine long. I'm following a tutorial by Mysticat here. That way the input chest is on this side and I can have this chest move all of the stuff over into the fuel section of the super smelter. It should be easy in, in theory. When you know redstone like me, it's super easy. Yeah, I can't believe I have an industrial area. How did I get here? One quick redstone crisis later. So this is now a super smelter, a super smelter and a bamboo farm right next to each other. The only thing that I need to do now is connect these. And this is where there's not really any sort of tutorial to do this. But basically, I'm going to use the same method I used here with this dropper in this tutorial by Avamance. In this tutorial, this dropper is sensed by a comparator and it spits out items, as you can see. I'm going to use that same sort of comparator dropper sort of nonsense to get it from this chest into a water stream and up into that hopper right there, which is our input for our super smelter. This should be totally doable. I'm very smart. And I got this. I got this. Totally. Huh. I might actually be a genius. I did not follow a tutorial for this. Am I a genius? Is it working? It's like half working. You know, as somebody who doesn't do redstone very often, the fact that there is any bamboo in here, pretty solid. Only problem is I think it's getting stuck under that block. So how do I stop that? Yes, it's getting very stuck. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. It's simple, really. I just need to line it up better. I think that will give the water a little bit more of a flow. Uh, Redstone genius, hold on. Are you getting stuck? I feel like that's a no. Right, moment of truth. <laughs> Take two. Okay, it's definitely flowing into the machine. It is getting a little stuck, but I can fix that with ice. Honestly, this might be a success. This might be fine. I might have done it. It's a little stuck. It is a little stuck. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna keep an eye on it and maybe turn it off, but 
<laughs> this is cool. Right, let's do our very first test run. I'm gonna put an input of sandstone and we're gonna want this to turn into smooth sandstone. I'm gonna turn that on. They all light up. <laughs> I think it might be working. It's gonna take a while for the bamboo to build up in this, but I think over time, this could actually work. Our output is over here, smooth sandstone. Oh, it's a success. So it seems like they're just barely not making it. If I just do that. Oh, I'm a genius, yes. Oh, this whole redstone thing is perfect. I'm gonna be a redstone YouTuber now. Oh, it's getting stuck. No, that's just me. That's just, that's my fault. Look at that. Nothing else is getting stuck. Perfection. I think I actually did it. Right. I guess we can get back to work now. Ah, yes. Back at my cobblestone atrocity. This is... This is good. <laughs> it's going well over here, I think. I have a bunch of smooth sandstone now for my super smelter, so we can finally get to work on some blocks in here that are not cobblestone, which I think will help the situation significantly. I have to admit, I do enjoy this build in its ugly phase, though. It's having an ugly phase, and honestly, I'm so here for it. I'm so here for this build's ugly phase. Eh, enough of that though. The first mission today is going to be building up towers. As you can see below me here, we have a tower marked out. These towers are going to kind of frame out this little staircase and like bridge a light landing we have here. And they're gonna kind of mirror this tower, but in smaller form. Luckily, the moss I got from B-dubs is gonna be very important for this. One of the things that I haven't gotten around to yet on this build is, well, the texturing. And that's kind of important because the base of this build is gonna actually be textured with green and moss. And it should look really well blended into the taiga. Eventually. Not yet. For now, to kind of hint at that, we're gonna start with some mossy stone brick and these tower foundations. All these hermits on. Nobody sleeps. I sleep. It's okay. My cobble atrocity is a bit of a mob spawner if I let it be. I don't think these foundations actually need to be too tall. They just sort of have to come up to meet the staircase and then we can start on the smooth sandstone bit. These chiseled stone bricks are some of my absolute favorite blocks to use, to be honest. Really enjoying them. Then, paired with a sandstone layer, this should be a good start for this tower. Let's get a little look-see. Oh, yeah, that works way better for the little supports. Perfect. Now, the next set of towers is these ones in here, and they're a little bit bigger, and they mirror that one a little bit better. It's still smaller, but not quite as small. Uh, this is going to take a lot of mossy stone brick. And it did take a lot of mossy stone brick, so much so that I had to go buy some more from Beatups. But luckily, he had just enough for me to get the job done. Okay, now that the foundations are in, the next pitch should be pretty simple. We just had to follow the same format we followed with these towers, but on a much smaller scale. So first sandstone, and then we're gonna need some birch wood. Birch wood, got it. And also some spruce wood for details, and then some dark oak wood for the roof. Let's start with these little supporting towers. They should be the easiest ones to get in. Literally, the inside of this is gonna be just a one by one. So there's no interior in these. They're pretty much just supports for this Elytra landing pad. Because this one is so tiny, I think the details are actually gonna be pretty simple. So this right here is going to be the divide between the smooth sandstone and the birch. In order to make that little gap look a lot less awkward, all I'm gonna do is literally just put a slab there. And that kind of fixes it. It's pretty simple, really. We don't wanna do too much or we risk kind of over detailing it. That looks so much better. <laughs> You can already feel the kind of epic vibe that this has as you come through these pillars up towards the entrance. Only thing it needs now is, well, an entrance. It needs the entrance. So what do you say we speed up this whole process and kick off into yet another time lapse? Let's go, everyone. It's building time. This is all looking pretty good so far, but I have to admit, I'm stuck. We're using a very solid variety of blocks around here so far, and well, for this first little roof here, I would like to use soul sand. And well, I haven't actually collected a lot of that yet this season. So if we're to continue with this lovely little entrance, I'm gonna have to go to the nether. 
And I had better put my pants on for this. Yep, there we go. Okay, totem in hand. I'm ready to take on the nether. And I just need to get out of the delta and into hopefully a soul sand valley. Admittedly, I'm a little nervous about flying in the nether. Oh boy. <laughs> I dislike this. Oh wait, here's a bunch of soul sand. <laughs> I think this is a soul sand valley. It's just a very little one. But you know what? I will take it. Thank you very much. I need soul sand. Some soul soil would also be great too. Not only for the roof, but also because lanterns. Soul lanterns are cyan. That'd be so good for us. Oh, hello. Yeah, sorry. Honestly, I think this is probably enough to get me started. <laughs> I don't want to overstay my welcome in here anyways. So, let's uh, yep, hop on out of here, shall we? Perfect. Now that I've got this, I should be able to get back to work on this roof now. And I think I'm going to use a mixture of the soul sand and the soul soil. I really like the texture of the soul sand though, so it might win out. Except for the fact that this is soul sand, I think this roof overall is going to be fairly simple. It's just an entranceway. Yep, I think that looks pretty cool. The soul sand colors go really well with the quartz, actually. I'm happy with that. Only thing to do now is fix up the rest of the quartz and finish that roof off. Hello, it's voiceover gem here again to tell you all about this lovely process. Basically, we're just shoving in a whole bunch of details here, and this takes the longest amount of time of anything and makes the smallest amount of difference on camera. But that's sort of what the theme of this build is gonna end up being. There's a lot of smaller, intricate details that we're gonna need to put in over the course of the build, and I'm excited for it. Eventually, we move on from the details and work on some supporting structures in the back, which are also equally important. Now, before I get a little too carried away, I think this is my entrance so far. And honestly, I think it's lovely. What a lovely place to enter a base. It's got the big epic pillars on either side, big staircase. Eventually, of course, we will texture all of this. And then you come in here and you're officially inside. Except for that quartz that I forgot. How did I forget that? It's fine, there's just gonna be a little rain getting in, just for now. Now in through here is where we get, of course, the bulk of the base happening. And so I've started building up what is essentially the next layer right here. And this is going to make a completed rectangle of sorts. So I think in order to help all of you visualize this, I'm gonna kind of lay out a rough roof shape just for the next layer up. It's going to be up above it. Again, another triangle shape, just much higher than the entrance. So let's mark that in and then hopefully we'll all be on the same page with where this is going. You'll have to excuse this. I am going to mark the next layer in a dirt. It's fine. My base is having its ugly phase and I am fully here for it, to be honest. Moment of truth. Yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, that gives you a pretty good idea of where the next roof line is after this one. And then there's gonna be more towers up above that. Great, fantastic start. Well, everyone, do you feel like you've gotten to see me build my mega base today? I feel like I've built my mega base today. I feel like we've made fairly good progress, actually. The entrance to a base is definitely where you want to make the biggest impact. This is gonna be the area that most people see, so I want it to be impressive, and I think that this sort of shape is definitely doing that. Of course, though, this base has a long way to go, so I hope you're all here for the journey. For now, though, I think that's about all the time that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I want to give you all a heads up, by the way. As you know, I'm in two SMPs, this one and also one called Empires. Empires hasn't started up quite yet, but I want to give you a little heads up that when it does, I will probably do two Empires videos in a row just to get it started, and then we'll go back to alternating Hermitcraft and Empires, just to give Empires a proper nice kickoff like we did with Hermitcraft. Thank you so much for being supportive of me as I am in all of these various series. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone!